Welcome back students. We will continue string functions. Today the remaining string functions that is substring and comparative functions we are going to see. Substring will accept two integer arguments or a single integer argument. Integer value they are given is a index number. Here it accepts one single integer value that is index number of the character present in the string. This is taken as starting index and the remaining all the index characters will get displayed. So the output data type will be string type. For example, we have cupboard dot substring of 3. Here we have 0, 1, 2 and then 3 is the argument given. So from starting 3 that is B remaining everything it is going to be taken. So output here will be board. Next we have here two integer argument that is two index number. This is a starting index number and this is ending index number. So again output type is going to be string type. For example, if we take cupboard dot substring of 0 comma 3. So the starting is 0. So the 3 is not included in the output. So it is going to take 0, 1 and 2. So it will have 0, C, U, P. P is 2. B that is 3 is excluded here. So you will have output as C, U, P. First let us check this through a program and then we will learn compare to function. These codes already you know. I have taken input from the user. The variable name given to the string is S1. So I am going to take the output. I give string S2 is equal to. So the string value that is S1 given by the user dot substring of the value I give for example I give 5. And then I terminate. So I will print this. that is S2. Now let us consider string S3 is equal to S1 dot substring of 6 comma 9. So let me print this again. Six and till 9 is yes 3 is the answer. So I give here dictionary. So what is going to be the output? We have given substring as 5 here. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the fifth index starts from O. So O N A R Y is going to be the first output and the next output going to be 6 to 9. So it is going to be N A R. So Y is 9 that is excluded. Before learning compare to let us learn about ASCII code of characters. Compare to function going to compare two strings using ASCII value of the character. So here we have the ASCII value of each character from 0 to 9, 0, 48 is the ASCII value for 1, 49 and then so on. So for 9 it is 57. Then for capital A it starts from 65. 66, 67 like that and then up to Z it is 90. Same like that a small letter A has 97 as its value and then Z has 122 as its value.
compare to function going to compare two strings lexicographically that means as in the dictionary it is going to compare so here we have compare to t is in capital here the output is going to be integer type after comparing this function not only compares lexicographically but also compares the length of the string i will explain with some examples here we give the first string dot compare to the second string inside the bracket for example i have mouse is the first string value dot compare to the second string value here as book here see the first letter of this is m and the first letter is b here so the ascii value of m is 109 and ascii value of b is 98 so the difference between these going to be given so that is 109 minus 98 is going to be 11 in case here it is book and here it is mouse it is going to do 98 minus 109 so that is going to be minus 11 the next example here i have money bag and then money purse so as per the dictionary money until that both are same so b here it starts a different letter here it is p is different letter so it is going to consider the ascii value of b minus ascii value of p so here b has 98 as its value p has 112 as its value so 98 minus 112 is minus 14 next here i have pencil dot compare to pen so it is going to compare these two see here pen is already there in the pencil later whatever the character is available in pencil is not there here it is going to compare the length so that is pencil's length is 6 and the pen length is 3 so 6 minus 3 it is going to be 3 is the output next i have here record compare to record so both are same the output is going to be 0 let us do all this through a program let me delete all this so here i will change as user input that is br dot read line of so here i have two inputs before this i will prompt so enter another string another string so user gives s1 as one string and s2 as other string i am just comparing directly i give in the printing statement so that is i am giving here yes one dot compare to that is yes two let us compile this no syntax error as we have seen in the example i give mouse then book so 11 was the answer there you got this next let me give the other type of input let me give money bag then money purse so you can see minus 14 as we have seen in the example so now i give pencil and then pen so it is length now 6 minus 3 is 3 next let us give the same input for example mouse 
moves. So it is zero. So here I have CAT compared to ANT. So it is totally different. The first letter it is going to be C and then here A. The difference going to be these two is 2. The next one here cell phone dot compared to cell pouch. So here minus 7 is answer. So until C E L P it is same and then here H and here O is compared. So here H is having smaller value, O is having bigger value. So it is in minus value. So minus 7 and then here I am comparing pencil and pen we have already seen. So it is 3 and then here block and block. So both are same it is going to be 0. Students we have seen many string functions all these will help you in doing the programs. We will see example program in coming tutorials. So until then thank you. Please keep on watching my videos. Bye.